First of all, COVID is obviously a, a real illness and we, ne we needed to be careful with regards to the management of that illness. But Ireland took a role which was an extreme outlier role uh, with regards to every single other European country. No other European country restricted as severe and as long as Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael did. And we want to see it in financial terms. For example, uh, our annual spending in, 20, in 2020 increased by 20%. In Denmark, it increased by 5%. In France, it increased by 8%. The European average increase in spending during 2020 was less than 10%. But our spending, because of the, the overextended restrictions and the over severe restrictions, was a radical outlier. No other country took the route that we took, and it cost no other country the same in financial terms. And, you know, it just in, in relation to, to the costs of this, we also are edging towards a, a national debt of 280 billion euros. We're going to have a deficit of 14 billion euros next year, 7 billion euros the year after, 7 billion euros the year after, and what we're Thank talking you, about is a paltry sum of less than a, a billion euros with regards to this fund from the European Euro. It, it just it reminds yeah, me of, of Ireland's instincts back in, in the banking crisis, that we seem to be the, the best boy in the class, and we don't shout loud enough for what we need insular and inward looking in this country because we handled this crisis in a radically different manner than every other European country. So yes, we did have a crisis here. The, the majority of people who died of COVID caught COVID in a nursing home or a hospital, the epicenter of what co where COVID was in this country and an area that was radically mismanaged by this government and an area where we need a full public investigation into how the government handled it. But the truth of the matter is countries like Denmark, and Germany opened pubs and restaurants, for example, months before we did. They did it safely. They did it with, 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 with antigen testing. They used uh, the, the, pro the proper logic to open those services, and they allowed people to go back to work earlier, and it cost their countries radically less as a result. Now, it's been reported in the Sunday Times that this state will pay 19 billion euros over a 30-year period into uh, funds to help with regards to COVID, and that we'll get a total of two billion euros back. You know, it, that, it, for most people, these are the figures that are as big as the, the banking crisis figures, yet there is precious little debate around this issue. The stony silence around these massive costs in this stage.